Shall I tell you a story? Once upon a time... Well, this is a musical story. And like all stories, it has characters. And each character is represented by a different instrument of the orchestra. So that you can recognize the characters every time they appear, I'm going to ask the various instruments to show them to you. First, the bird. He is represented by a flute. The duck by the oboe. Listen to him quacking. The cat by the soft clarinet. The grandfather, very serious and strict, by the bassoon. The wolf, by three horns, here he comes. Young Peter, the hero of our story, is so important that he has a tune to himself on all the strings of the orchestra. Even the rifle shots of the hunters have a theme to themselves, played by the kettle drum, and the big bass drum. And now imagine the scene. A house in a large garden with a wall around it. Outside in the meadows there is a big tree and a pond. Not very far away is the dark, dark forest. Early one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily.
just then, a duck came waddling round. She was glad that Peter hadn't closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. Seeing the duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to her, and shrugged his shoulders. What kind of a bird are you if you can't fly, said he. To this the duck replied, What kind of a bird are you if you can't swim? And dived into the pot. argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. The cat thought, the bird is busy arguing. I'll just grab him. Stealthily she crept towards him on her velvet paws. shouted Peter, and the bird immediately flew up into the tree. While the duck quacked angrily at the cat, from the middle of the pond, The cat walked round to the tree and thought, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, the bird will have flown away. Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone into the meadow. It is a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Thank you. 
Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. But Grandfather took Peter by the hand, locked the gate, and led him home. The duck quacked and in her excitement jumped out of the pond. the duck tried to run. She couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, 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 catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one gulp, swallowed her. And now this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. The bird on another. Not too close to the cat. And the wolf. 
wolf walked round and round the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. <laughs> In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate, watching all that was going on. He ran home, got a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree round which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, fly down and circle round the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. touched the wolf's head with his wings, while the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and that. the wolf how he wanted to catch him but the bird was cleverer and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it <laughs> meanwhile Peter made a lasso and carefully letting it down He caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope round his tail tighter.
just then. The hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. Peter, sitting in the tree, said, Don't shoot! The bird and I have caught the wolf. Now help us to take him to the zoo. Imagine the triumphant procession. Peter at the head. After him, the hunters leading the wolf. Winding up the procession, Grandfather and the cat. Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? Hmm?
above them flew the bird, chirping merrily. What brave fellows we are, Peter and I. Look what we've caught. If you would listen very carefully, you could hear the duck quacking inside the wolf. Because the wolf in his hurry had swallowed her alive. 